Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dapo Willis as you already know. Now guys, today I'm going to be talking about how to go about trading like a sniper. How do you go about taking those very best trades? You've probably heard me speak about it in my subsequent videos and in my webinars. I'm not the kind of guy who is always trading the market because I consider myself a sniper. Now, for those of you guys who don't, know, who don't know what snipers are, I believe most of you know what snipers are anyways. Snipers are people who literally have guns and they hide up in the bushes, but they only come out to take the clearest and the most accurate shots possible. Okay, the shots with the highest probabilities and most of the time the bad guys cannot see them and in this case the bad guys are our stop losses, right? In this case the bad guys are the market makers, right? So guys in this video that's exactly what I want to share. The steps that I follow to ensure that I'm always trading like a sniper and guess what guys if you trade like a sniper you increase the probabilities of you making a lot of money in this market so guys stick around to the very end but before we get into any of that cool stuff this video is taking me a lot of time a lot of freaking headache to make and a lot of research goes into this video so i just need one little favor from you guys i need you guys to smash the like button and hit that subscribe bell right there Cha ching bing 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 just hit it right there that's all you need to do so guys all right so let's go into the nitty gritty of the video Alright guys, so the very first thing you want to consider when you're trading like a sniper, rather, the very first thing I consider when I'm trading like a sniper, now before I even get into all of that, before I just used to trade, like any setup I saw, I would trade this, I would trade that, I would trade Euro USD, GBP USD, Euro JPY, GBP NZD, S&P 500, gold, oil, I would trade every possible opportunity that I could get before. And then I realized that, well, I thought more equal as, as in more trades equaled more profit but that was wrong i re realized that the reverse was the case less is more so what i decided to do was i decided to start being a lot more patient with my entries i decided to guys and this is not just me just waking up one day and just deciding to do all of this 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 was as a result of many losing trades i realized that i was now this was way many years ago i've been trading for nine years now so this was maybe first two and a half to three years into my trading career i realized that i was losing so much money in the market because i was just clicking clicking buttons any setup i saw i would trade now due to the amount of losses i was making before i had to do something drastic i had to make some drastic changes to my trading and i said to myself i was only going to trade the shortest trades possible all right guys so the very first thing you want to consider um when, when when we're talking about trading like a sniper is you want to trade in the direction of the trend why is this because the trend have less resistance trends have less resistance so rule number one is you want to trade in the area of less resistance less resistance levels let less issues right so the only way to go about this is if you're trading in the direction of the trend and guys there's a saying that goes the trend is your friend a lot of you guys watch my videos and you realize that i love to trade the trend this is exactly why i came up with this concept called the top-down anal analytical approach why because what i do is i go on higher time frames and then i identify massive trends Okay, I identify massive trends on higher time frames and then I come back to lower time frames and I trade in that direction because I realize that, listen, if I see a massive trend on a higher time frame, okay, I've spotted that there's, there's the least amount of resistance in that direction, I can then come to a lower time frame and trade in that direction. I realize that my ability to make winning trades increase significantly once i started to trade in areas of less resistance 
Now, the issue a lot of you guys face when you want to trade in the areas of least resistance or you want to trade in that direction is the market only trends for about 60% of the time, between 55 to 65% of the time. Half of the time, you're most likely waiting for a trade opportunity. A lot of you guys just don't want to be patient about the market. And I totally understand you want to make a lot of money, but, but in this game, in this game, you have to understand that making money is not easy in life, okay? Nothing comes easy. Even trading is not exactly easy. It is simple because the rules are simple to follow, but is it really easy? Can you really do the waiting? So this is the issue a lot of you guys have. Now, not to worry, guys. Um, there's always a way out as long as you're willing to pay the price. And what is the price? In this? All, where I, all I'm asking you guys to do, just be a little bit patient and trade in the direction of what least resistance. All right, so guys, so the second thing you want to consider is you want, it's called trading from an area of value. What does this mean? Now, guys, I came up with a strategy called the Willis Zone. And the Willis Zone is nothing more than a confluence of technical indicators coming together. When I mean indicators, I'm not talking about moving average. I'm talking about technical tools. So you want to trade from an area of value. An area whereby your trend lines, your support and your Fibonacci have come together and have formed a very solid base. Okay, that is an area of value because if there is a strong support or strong resistance or you see a combination of these three tools, Fibonacci trend line and um, Fibonacci trend line and support or resistance, whichever the case may be, if you see all three of them come together in a very strong area, that area is known as an area of value. What you tend to realize is once the market comes into those kind of areas, we tend to see a sharp bounce off of those areas. So I keep telling people, um, trade from areas of strength. Forget about catching falling knives. Forget about falling knives are nothing more than when the market is quickly falling, just want to quickly get in and get out. At the end of the day, you end up hurting yourself, especially during non-farm payroll days, NFP. You want to stay away from days like that because all you're doing is you're, you're catching falling knives. And at the end of the day, what this? imagine if this was a knife and I'm trying to catch it as it's falling. It's going to hurt your hands. That's exactly what's going to happen. So guys, rule number two to trade like a sniper is you want to trade from an area of what? Of value. Wait for the market to come into those significant areas. And it's so simple. Come in as the market is about to go up again. Let it show you that, listen, I've bounced off of this region and I want to start heading in that direction. Allow the market to show you evidence by providing stuff like bullish engulfing candles let the market bounce off an area of value with a bullish engulfing candle and then you're free to buy okay or a bearish engulfing candle for a sell position so guys that's the number two thing you need to consider trading as a sniper always trade from an area of what value all right guys so number three thing you want to consider when you want to be a sniper trader like myself okay i'll show you i'll tell you what i do so guys I like to, your entry trigger, my entry trigger for me, I'm very, very, very conservative when it comes to my entry triggers. Like, I don't just buy or sell any, any trade. I like for the market, like I was saying earlier, to bounce off of a region, right? Bounce off the region and come back on your way out is when I want to fucking trade the market. You get me, man? I'm not, like, I don't buy at support. I don't sell at resistance. Never, ever, ever, ever would you see me do such a rubbish. I would never do such a rubbish. In trading, if you do that, you, you're supposed to be flogged. You don't buy at support and you don't sell at resistance. This is exactly what you do. You wait for bounces. We like to see the market bounce. Why do we want to see the market bounce? First of all, it is telling me that yes, indeed, I've touched this level. First of all, it, the market needs to confirm that your support is actually support. Haven't you seen some times where you've drawn a support level and the market just breaks through it together with your buy trade because you believed in that support level so much? Yes. So the first thing is the market needs to, first of all, confirm our level. That's the first issue. Now, once you've confirmed my level, the other reason why I like to trade bounces is because I've seen several situations when the market 
is heavily manipulated around key levels. Now, what does this mean? Around areas of support and resistance is exactly where investment banks, the people who move the market, like to manipulate price. They like to go and do what they call run stops. Think about this, guys. You have a major support level. Your market is coming. Well, it's a major support level. You and I can both see it. Every The whole world can see that this level is major support. And then the market comes into that level. And then what happens? You go and click buy. What tends to happen in market manipulation situations is the, the, the market makers will trigger your buy trade. The market will not bounce at that support line on the dot. They will push the market even further below to wipe out all the stop losses and then reverse the market in the opposite direction. Now, guys, I speak about market manipulation in an entirely different video. If you check somewhere around here, I'm probably going to link the link somewhere about here. Okay, so watch it. It's an entire video. You're going to learn so much from it. So guys, for these two reasons, okay, is exactly why I like to trade the bounce. Okay, first of all, confirm to me that it's a support level. Secondly, go and do your rubbish manipulation you want to do. When you're done doing whatever you want to do, when you're done and you're coming out, that's exactly where I want to shake your hand. I'm like, all right, cool. Are you ready to go? It's time to start trading. So guys, um, I have some other entry techniques that I discuss on the Forex Mastery course as well. If you want to know how to grab it, it's just 99 bucks. Click the link below. So guys, um, I use a very, I use, I use various amounts of entry strategies to get into the market, but they're very simple and very basic. Guys, whatever entry I'm doing, that market needs to bounce and come back to me. I'm not going to chase it. I'm not going to run after it. No, no, no. I don't chase the damn market. Don't chase this shit because I'll tell you what's going to happen. It's going to you up. It's going to mess you up, right? So that's, the th that's, that's one of the things you want to consider, guys. Guys, shit, I've lost my line of thought. Give me a sec. I need to check my book. Where was I? So we've spoken about trade in the area of less resistance very important the next thing is trade from an area of value very important oh yeah we want entry triggers so guys you want to have your set entry triggers um most of the time i like to see bullish engulfing candles i love to see bullish engulfing candles go test the level test the level and bounce off with a book now what is a bullish engulfing candle a bullish engulfing candle is when you see a very strong candle I like to call it an erection. <laughs> a very strong candle off of a major level. Okay? Come out. Once you do that, I'm like, all right, cool. It's time to go. So, guys, that's one of the things you want to consider when you want to trade like a sniper. You have to have your criteria for entry. Bounces always do what the trick. All right, guys. So, number four thing you want to consider is market behavior. Um, so what do I mean by market behavior in this situation? So guys, you have to understand that, guys, there's sometimes when the market is just not cooperating, man. There's sometimes you just, just stay away. Like for me, if I look at the market, you guys all follow me on YouTube. You guys all see all the webinars that I do and stuff like that. There's sometimes I have a webinar and I don't have a trade opportunity to present to you guys. It's not because there are no trading opportunities. It's because I don't like the market behavior at the moment. The market behavior at the moment might be looking like stop loss, stop loss, stop loss to me. So what I do in those situations is I just like to stay away. I fucking stay away. You need to stay away. So you need to read the market behavior. Is the market bouncing in a trend and making higher highs and higher lows? If the market is making higher highs and higher lows, guys, trust me, I will get, I will look for trading opportunities and I will buy that market. But if the market is making higher high, lower low, equal high, and it's just very difficult to read. Guys, you want to trade like a sniper, right? In these situations, you want to back the fuck down right stay and sit on your hands it's very important and you save you a lot of money in fact as a matter of fact out of everything i've said this is one of the most important things understanding market behavior okay understand that this is why people send me trades like what do you think about this i'm like i don't think anything about this because it's quite complex to read the market conditions i've been trading nine years and i st still see very complex market situations i'm not saying i cannot analyze it i can analyze it easy even in my sleep but my point is it is complex in the sense of how will this market play out okay 
how will it play out? It doesn't really look like something that I've seen play out profitably before. Okay, so guys, understanding market behavior is very important and ranging markets, you want to be very careful. Guys, if indeed you really want to trade like a sniper, you need to start looking into what trending markets. And this is exactly what I speak about on the Forex Mastery course, top-down analysis, learn how to do these things properly so that guys, you can trade and go and chill. You can trade and what, go and relax on the freaking beach with your what your family all right guys so number five on my list the last but not the list i feel like this is i know i said the other one was the most important one but this this right here is the most important aspect of your trading like a sniper philosophy and it's called patience crickets nobody likes to hear patience in this market i understand guys everybody wants to make money me guys everybody wants to make money man Shit, we all want to make money however Guys, there's a saying, a saying that goes in this market that goes this way, right? The market rewards the patient. How do I know this saying? I didn't read it in the book. Funny enough, I haven't really, I, don't, I didn't really read that many trading books in my time. How do I know about this saying? I didn't read it. Somebody didn't teach me about it. I learned it from losing money in this market. So this is why when I tell you this, take it for me for free as somebody who has lost a lot of money in this market in the past. The market rewards the what? The patient. Okay? You have to have patience. I there sometimes I go three whole weeks. I don't like the trading opportunities I'm seeing. I'm seeing trading opportunities, but I don't like the trading opportunities because I don't feel they're going to reward me with the 500 600 pip 1200 pip move okay guys so you have to consider patience in this game and aside from that patience when it comes to entries now you can be a lower time frame trader that's absolutely fine however guys your entry criteria needs to be fulfilled before you get into that trade even if the market looks like it's running away let it run away because guess what? It's running away only on that candle and then the market comes back and closes right exactly where you want it to close for your entry. And guess what? The market now starts to reverse in the opposite direction. Whereas if you had waited for that candle to do this nonsense and come back and close in the opposite direction, you would have never got into the trade. I don't know if I'm making any sense here. I'll take it again. A lot of you guys feel like the market is about to leave you and run away. So what happens is you go and enter the trade somewhere far away. Like, oh my God, I don't want, the, I don't, I don't want this trade to leave me. And then what happens? You enter the trade. And the moment you enter the trade, the market retraces back. And in most times, it doesn't just retrace back. It starts going in the opposite freaking direction. Forex can be a pain in the ass. So guys... I hope I've been able to make sense to you guys today. I hope I've been able to shed some light on trading like a sniper. So let me quickly recap everything that I spoke about today. Um, so first things first, you want to trade for less resistance. Trade in the direction of what? A less resistance, okay? You want to trade in the direction of the trend. The Forex Mastery course, it will help you out with this. The Forex Mastery course, would it will fine-tune you so that you actually start trading like a sniper i know you have a lot of people are saying oh he's always talking about this course guys the course is so freaking cheap the reason i always talk about it is because i want to save you guys from yourself from blown accounts okay and i believe if you're watching my youtube channel and you're listening to me speak all the time in order for all of this to make sense you really need to get on the program because the program will bring you up to the level that I am at the moment so that you can understand what I'm saying in even more detail. Okay, so guys, the first thing you want to consider when trading like a sniper is trade in the direction of less resistance. Okay, the second thing is trade from an area of value. Okay, confluence, the Willis zone area. Let your technical tools come together and form a major solid base. And then the third thing is 
entry trigger let the market bounce off of that region don't trade inside of the zone trade on the bounce of the what of the zone okay number four is always try as much as possible to understand market behavior because there are some market behaviors that are absolutely treacherous <laughs> absolutely treacherous once you understand the market behavior feel free to get into that i'm not saying all this to scare you i'm saying all this to prepare you so that you go into this market as a what as a sniper guys you have to understand that it's not everybody that gets drafted to be a sniper so the same thing not everybody gets to be a successful trader so if indeed you want to become a successful trader you need to be what equipped look at snipers they have the best goggles the best guns the best backpacks they're the best guys in the games and guys last on my list number five like i said earlier on is patience you want to be absolutely patient with those you want to allow the market form in your entry you want your let the entry cook let the spice let the spice let the let, let the rabbit come out okay come out guys before i go this is exactly how you do it you chill you chill and then when the trade because the market will always get to a point where it's very vulnerable the market will always me i know when the market is vulnerable i like I would, i'll just be watching the market with the corner of my eye check my chart once a day twice a day and then when the market messes up and sleeps and gives me a very predictable pattern and this when i come out of I take it down once i take it down i hold it hold the trade and i milk as much as i can milk from it and uh, yeah that's pretty much it and that's exactly how i'm able to make a lot of money in the market so guys if you found this video very helpful which i hope you did all i need from you guys to do is first of all comment below tell me which of these steps you found very very helpful Tell me if you found this video very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. And for those of you guys who want to grab the Forex Mastery course, the link is going to be down there below. Do yourself a favor and do your trading a favor and jump on the program. And guys, I'll see you guys in my subsequent videos. I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for all the support and I'll catch you guys later. Take it easy and peace out.